Most people live life without meaning or purpose. And sometimes those of us that do live life with meaning and purpose, we forget our why. When you think about life as a whole, there really isn't a true purpose. It's all subjective. So when we talk about meaning, fulfillment, and purpose, for me, it all starts with why. What gives you that feeling of fulfillment? What makes it meaningful? What is your purpose for doing what you do? Because at the end of the day, when life is over, most of us won't be remembered by the masses. Most of us won't create or build something on this earth that is so historical and remembered for thousands of years. And regardless of what you believe, we're only here on this earth for a short period of time. So as you live your life and you reflect on the current moment, what do you really want out of this life? And ask yourself why? See, we all define our own purpose. We all have our own unique perspective on life and how we give meaning to it. Your reason for waking up every morning and doing what you do could be totally different than mine. Doesn't mean anyone is right or wrong, which is why there really is no true purpose. See, when you start living your life with a macro perspective, like how the universe is so big and there's so much we don't know, and we all live life with different beliefs, different values, and a different purpose, you start to believe that the universe itself doesn't have a true universal purpose for all. It really is created by you and your mindset. How you think about your life is in your control, and you have the power to create the life you truly want. I'm not saying it's easy, but the first step is having clarity on what gives your life meaning and purpose. Why do you want to wake up and be excited for today? Why do you want to go to work with energy, enthusiasm, and passion? Why do you want to put in extra effort to be more productive and get more work done? Why do you want to focus on your health and make better and smarter decisions about your diet? Why do you want to take a chance and step outside your comfort zone and try something new or take a risk and be bold? Why do you want to do what you do? What is that reason? And if you don't know, it's okay. But I want you to try something with me. Even if you do know what your purpose is and you know what your why is, I want you to take a moment to think back to when you were a younger child. Just think back to the first memory you have as a kid. The very first memory that pops into your mind and just stick with it. Don't fight it. Don't try to look for an earlier memory. It really doesn't matter. Just focus on that first memory you have and think about what you were thinking in that moment. Can you actually remember how you felt in that moment? It may be difficult, but try to remember how you felt during that time period of your life. Try and hold on to that feeling right now. Do you remember what your perspective on life was at that age? Did you ever question what life really was? Did you ever look up to the stars and just wonder? Did you ever dream about the future and what your life would be like when you're older? Chances are you probably aren't the same person you thought you would be, and you've probably grown a lot since that time. Not just physically, but spiritually. You're actually old enough to have a more mature perspective on life now, so compared to when you were just a child, it's totally different. But let's go back to that moment again, that younger self. How did you identify yourself back then? Maybe you can't remember, but for me personally, the first memory that comes to my mind was standing in the living room, dancing around, playing some Green Day song. I don't remember what it was, but I was holding onto a microphone, I was singing, I was going crazy, I was being weird and goofy, just dancing on the ground. And I remember as a kid, I used to identify myself as a very shy, 
weird and awkward guy. The reason why I bring that up is because you have the power to create your own identity. The reason why I used to identify myself with that was because I had people identify me as that kind of kid. Over the years, my identity has changed so many times because people constantly change their identity of me. So naturally, my perspective on myself kept changing. But if I could go back to my younger self and give that younger boy some advice, I would tell him to be yourself. People always try to create your identity, but you're the creator of your own life. You can be whoever you want to be. You can be what you want to be. This is your life. You have the power to decide who and what you want to be. Ask yourself, why do I want to be that person? The only way you will find the answer is by looking within. I can't tell you how to live your life. I can't tell you how to feel. I can't give your life meaning. I can only guide you along this path and on this journey. But only you can find the answers you're looking for by searching within yourself. You must be brave. You have to decide who you want to be and choose to be that person and believe you can be that person. You have to believe it because it's true. Now I want you to ask yourself, what advice would you give to your younger self? If you had the opportunity to go back in time and meet your younger self for five minutes, what would you say? You've learned so much over the years. You've grown so much. Is there something you wish you knew back then that you know now? The reason why I bring this up, it's because the same principles apply today. Think about your future self. When you're old and your life is coming to an end, ask yourself what advice would you want to give your younger self? Like really step out of your shoes right now and use your imagination. Picture yourself laying in a hospital bed, old and weak. You're on your last breath. You're reflecting on your life. What do you wish you did differently? What is something you regret? What is something you wish you did that you never did? When you start to ask yourself these questions and you bring it back to the present moment you're currently living in, you start to wonder if you're really living your best life. Remember, many of us won't be remembered in the history books, and even if we are, so what? Does it even matter? I don't know, that's up to you. That's for you to decide. Do you want it to matter? How do you want to be remembered? Because our purpose in life is determined by us. We create meaning in our life, and that starts with asking yourself, why? So as you live your life and you reflect on the present moment, what do you really want to get out of this life, and why? Every action you take should be driven with your purpose, because when it's all said and done, you'll be much more fulfilled than when you lived a life with meaning and purpose, and that you gave it everything you had because you wanted to live your best life. So ask yourself why, and use that to motivate and inspire yourself to live your best life. You know who it is. It's Mr. B. AKA Mikey B. Peace.